So we're continuing today to work on the corner chisel sheath, uh, our timber framing corner chisel sheath. And in the last video, we cut out the pieces of leather and we chiseled out the holes for the stitches to go around the perimeter and we glued it up. Um, I did not chisel the holes for the spacer that goes around the, um, that goes around the sheath because I was afraid the holes wouldn't line up properly. So now I'm going to go ahead and poke or, or chisel through all three layers that way that we can hand stitch it. I was a little afraid to make the holes for the hand stitches before we glued it up because I was afraid that the um, that the edges wouldn't line up and I do see that on this edge they're not lining up perfectly but I think I can still connect the holes I don't know what's better I don't know if it's better to pre chisel all the holes for the for the stitches or to wait until it's all glued up to do that I thought it was going to be difficult to chisel through three different layers um, and then get because once you put the chisel into the uh, leather it's hard to get it out and um, I was afraid it would kind of tear it up but uh, anyhow we're gonna start on this side and work our way down and just start chiseling through the middle layer and then we'll see if we can connect the holes and sew it together so just to be forthcoming and honest this is only my second leather working project that I've done I made this little sheath a couple years ago for this knife and it's certainly nothing fancy but it was just a little bit of practice but I've been watching some videos and reading up a little bit on how to do better work so this is kind of um, kind of what we're working on to try to try to improve our leather working skills So judging by the response to the last video, I don't believe there's a lot of people interested in leatherworking within the uh, lasting build community. I think it's actually something we should all learn. Um, I think it complements woodworking really well and um, I think there's some aspects of leatherworking that could benefit all of us. I'm certainly more interested in woodworking than I am leather craft. However, I think there's some component of leather craft that is really beneficial to woodworkers. This is just one example of making a nice sheath for a chisel that we worked really hard on. So this method of sewing, I believe, is called saddle stitching, and that is where each end of the thread has a needle on it and you go back and forth. Essentially crisscrossing each, each time by going through the same hole. And my understanding is this is a very strong, a very strong method of, of hand stitching. One of the things I like about leather work is that it doesn't cost very much money to get into the hobby. I probably have, and I, actually I got a bunch of leather working tools for Christmas a couple years ago. So I probably only have about $100 worth of tools. And I feel like I could probably make a lot of different things with what I have. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking my chisels here and I'm 
and I'm chiseling through the middle layer maybe four or five holes in advance and then I'm sewing it that way it stays nice and tight as I work my way down and that look nice So last night I finished sewing the first side of the chisel sheath and today or this morning I'm going to go ahead and sew the second side. Sewing this side is a little bit more difficult because the leather doesn't line up as well. The edge of the bottom portion of the sheath is not quite in line with the top portion so as I'm chiseling through the middle layer of leather I'm having to actually angle angle the um, the chisel a little bit towards the a little bit angled like that trying to meet the two sides of the leather so it's taking a little bit longer than the other side did So I've finished this row of uh, stitches and now I'm going to back stitch a few holes and that should secure the uh, thread into the leather. So I've back sewn three or four holes now. I'm just going to tie this off and then I'll burn it. And we should be good. Be done with the, uh, the sewing. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to I'm going to actually form the sheath to the chisel now that we've got the basic shape and we know that the um, the sheath isn't going to fall apart now that it's sewn tightly together. So I'm just going to put some tape over the uh, bevel of the chisel to protect it. Then I've got some saran wrap. I'm going to place around the uh, the chisel to protect it from the moisture. I've got some warm water here. We'll get the leather wet to soften it up again. Now we can go ahead and put the chisel into the holster for the first time. So now that we've got the uh, chisel placed in the holster, now I'm going to start forming it around the chisel. It's a really nice fit, really nice and tight. So I'm going to let that dry today and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll finish the edges and burnish the edges and then we'll oil the sheath up and it'll be done.